with Julio Jones a little bit banged up, but you had your running backs, your other guys, so new to go to your offensive line. This offense is as good, as potent as any we've seen in the National Football League. This guy next to me is a warrior, man. How about that for Julio, right? He is a beast. Showed up. He's been hurting all week. No doubt about it. He was going to play, and he played awesome. Top three wide receivers. Um... Julio Jones. I would always put Julio at number one. He is a man amongst men. He has the full gamut of abilities and then can run every route in the route tree. He doesn't change his body language. Just like in communication, if you say something to me and I give you a frown, you then think what you said was bad. It's the same thing with body language on the football field. If I start to slow down or if I raise my body up, the defender knows, okay, something's about to happen. He gets to the top of his route and you don't know that he's about to change direction. You don't know he's about to change speeds. You talk about artwork and motion, that's artwork to me. For him to be as decisive and precise as he is, it's beautiful to me to watch. And there's nothing a defender can do about it. His ability to get the ball, to stretch the field, I mean, there's, there's nobody like him. And Matt Ryan, it's almost impossible. Well, wow. what a spectacular grab, maybe even a better throw. Julio, great talent. He's gonna be probably the best one day. So many great receivers today in the NFL. If you had to choose who you feel like were a handful of top receivers in today's game, no particular order, who would you say? You know, I'm, I'm giving you my number one. My oh, number one is uh, uh, Julio Jones. Really? Julio Jones has everything. I mean, he's big, he's fast. Uh, uh, the way he can come out his routes, you know, he can make catches, he can run by you, he can do it all. Julio, first of all, Julio Jones is the best wide receiver in the NFL. If I'm starting a team and you tell me I can pick one wide receiver, that's who I'm picking. Not only because of size, not only because he's 6'3", 220, not because he runs a 4'3", not because he runs precise routes, not because he can play every wide receiver position, but because he's not a, a diva wide receiver. Be it heat, uh, run after catch, jump ball, you name it. I think he brings the most to the table. Play fake to Freeman. Ryan wants to throw. Joe with the catch 40. Midfield, Julio into Green Bay territory. And he lays weight to pressure defenders. So, how do you stop him? First, you need to know what you're dealing with. You got the guy who came out of an egg. I believe he was born out of an egg. Julio, I don't think he was born, you know, naturally. I truly believe he was like generated and put together and hatched. Who would I put top at my position? Uh, that's a good question. Um, Julio. Yeah, I'll put Julio. He does all the small things right. A lot of receivers, ball's not there, they give up on the play. Julio Jones protects his team, protects his quarterback. Julio Jones. Bro, <laughs> oh, that's roll tide, no. Yeah, he the real deal. <laughs> what? That's <laughs> real deal. What about him? Aren't <laughs> even speaking on him? What makes him one of the best players in the league? Uh, words can't describe. <laughs> I have nothing to say, man. He's, he's an absolute beast. But the answer is Julio Jones. Because Julio Jones has that home run hitting ability. He's a spectacular wide out. There's not a single thing missing. He has the size. He has the hands. He has the route running. He keeps his head down. He's a good teammate. He's a team player. He doesn't give you any of the baggage any of the other guys do. Plus, he's not just good hands and everything. He's breakaway speed. Uh. Trying to defend Julio is like, uh, you, 
What was it Jesse Owens that Jason raced a horse one time? That's kind of what it feels like. <laughs> the thing about Julio is uh, he's what I like to call a mutant. No way, that guy is normal. I think he can really touch the top of the Georgia Dome. He felt like it. I mean, he's so powerful. You put five guys on him. You throw the ball up, he probably gonna come down with it. But two hands, one hand, hard to bring down. So it's really nothing you can do with him. Good job, Hope. Good job, bro. Freaking beast. He's a beast, man. He's the first guy I've seen that has like three different gears of speeds. If you were playing Madden, you're creating a player, you're creating a receiver, it would look a lot like Julio. Probably 6'3", 6'4", 220-something pounds, you know, running 4'3". Uh, he can high point the ball, he can make great catches. He can get in and out of cuts like a little guy, almost like an Antonio Brown, so uh, he's, a, he's, a, he's a nightmare matchup for any uh, DB. Communicate, where's he loving? Where's he loving? You know they're gonna throw him the ball 12 to 15 times a game. Everybody knows that. Trying to stop him is the problem. You know, he's gonna get his catches, he's trying to limit his, his big play ability because he definitely has that in his repertoire. From the pocket, deep shot, Jones is there, and caught it! Touchdown Atlanta, and Julio Jones! You called down the thunder, well, you got it! Julio Last season, you know, I, I thought I had the pick. I dove, I, I had it. And I could just feel him, like, grip the ball. And just pull it. I'm just like, man, it's crazy. Crazy is what he did to the Panthers in week four. Oh, my God. Julio got three Oh, my God. He had 300 yards. He had 300 yards. He had He went over 300 yards receiving. Julio Jones was like created in a laboratory or something like look at it, right? Laboratory, excuse me, they pronounce that right. He just plays the game I think the right way. He's not a he's not a look at me guy. He's about catching the ball, he's about scoring touchdowns, about winning games. We get to play him twice every year and it's a fun challenge, but sometimes you wish I'm like, man, just stop stop catching the ball so much, stop running so fast. The catch you made in the Super Bowl. Should have got more credit. Matt up in the pocket. Now gonna cut it loose. Look at the Julio! What a catch! At first I was like, there's no way that's a catch. I saw the replay, I was just like, wow. I've been in the league for nine years, and to be honest, I've never seen a receiver as good as Julio. Julio Jones! Julio Jones is a monster. We played him in London. He catches the screen pass, I kind of pin him to the sideline, and he hits me with a stiff arm. I was able to push him up, but I'm just like, oh my gosh, that was scary, you know? Just being in that moment with that freight train coming at you. It doesn't say too much, it's supposed to go play football, and that's what you want. Well, I like about him, he doesn't really talk much, he just plays. What I gotta do to make myself believe that I'm made for this when I'm with the kings that I have a place, I'm not chasing dreams. I got it twisted, I tell you now. Fear shows up trying to hold me down, but I'm fighting back because I know the promise that I always I know once you had to climb the ladder with him deep downfield. Didn't work very well. We were playing in Atlanta 2015. Matt sails it for Julio, a little under throw. He caught it! What a catch! 10 5 touchdown Atlanta! I thought I got up there pretty well, and then all I, all I hear or all I see was somebody's hands over the top of my head. Luke Keekley couldn't take the elevator with Julio Jones. It was always open, just because if you're Matt, you can throw it anywhere near him. You know, if there's a guy on his left shoulder, Matt just throws it anywhere in front of him on his right shoulder. 
and that guy's so long, so big, that he's able to go get it. NFC champions, Atlanta Falcons owner, Mr. Arthur Blank.